Queen's University Belfast has clear Ulster Scots links, whether that is through former teaching staff, students or the buildings around campus. From pro-chancellors to some of the leading scientists of their time, Queen's Ulster Scots alumni is something to be exceptionally proud of. From Queen's opening in 1849 as an institution to offer higher education to Presbyterians and Catholics who were excluded from the almost entirely Anglican Trinity College Dublin, has developed significantly in its 175 years of existence. However, it's always fascinating to look back at the university's history and looking into some of those who were Ulster Scots, whether they were students or teaching staff at Queen's, who left a tangible legacy behind, which can be seen through buildings, plaques or memorial lectures around campus. We hope this video gives an insight to some of the Ulster Scots links to Queen's University Belfast. William Thompson, first Baron Kelvin, was a British mathematical physicist and engineer born in Belfast. William's ancestors were Scottish Covenanters and his brother, James Thompson, was Professor of Engineering at Queen's University. William did important work in the mathematical analysis of electricity and formulation of the first and second laws of thermodynamics. And he did much to unify the emerging discipline of physics in its modern form. In 1892, William was the first British scientist to be elevated to the House of Lords. Sir William Whitla was a physician and politician born at the Diamond, County Monaghan, with Ulster Scots and Presbyterian credentials. William studied medicine at Queen's College and went on to become the Pro-Chancellor of the University. He was the Member of Parliament for Queen's University Belfast at Westminster. Whitla was appointed physician to the Belfast Royal Hospital and the Ulster Hospital for Children and Women in 1882. He held post at the Belfast Royal Hospital and in the Royal Victoria Hospital, of which it was the forerunner, until his retirement in 1918. Money bequeathed by Whitla was used to create an assembly hall at the university, as he had suggested. The Sir William Whitla Hall was opened in 1949. Sir Joseph Larmer was a physicist from County Antrim, who was an Ulster Scot and a strong opponent of Home Rule, being elected as an MP for Cambridge University. Joseph Larmer lectured at Queen's University for a number of years before accepting a post at Cambridge University. The Larmer Lecture Theatre that is still used today is named after him. Joseph Larmer also unveiled the statue of Lord Kelvin in Botanic Gardens. Sir Tyrone Guthrie was the fourth Chancellor of Queen's University Belfast, who had strong Scottish family links from County Monaghan. He is known to be one of the most important British-born theatre directors of his time. He briefly worked for the BBC in Belfast as an announcer and was knighted in 1961 for his services to the theatre. Over a period of years, he received honorary degrees from 10 universities, including Trinity College Dublin, Queen's University Belfast itself, St Andrews and a number of North American universities. A blue plaque from the Ulster History Circle has been dedicated to the life and work of Guthrie at the BBC in Belfast. Margaret Byers was an educator, activist, social reformer, missionary and writer. She was a Presbyterian and had strong Ulster Scots roots. She was the founder of one of the longest established girls' schools in the British Isles, Victoria College in Belfast. Margaret was a member of the First Senate of Queen's University Belfast, and in conjunction with other women, she founded in 1874 the Belfast Women's Temperance Association and Christians Workers' Union. Thomas Sinclair was born into a prominent Belfast Ulster Scots family in 1838 and would become the foremost Presbyterian layman of his day. As well as a prominent businessman, philanthropist and arguably one of the most politically significant Ulstermen of the last two centuries, he conceived the idea of the Ulster Unionist Convention in 1892 and framed the language of the Ulster Solemn League and Covenant in 1912 
a document central to the creation of Northern Ireland in 1921. Sinclair is also responsible for bringing golf to Ulster, founding the Royal Belfast Golf Club after a visit to the famous St Andrews Links in Scotland in 1881. Thomas Sinclair proved himself as an outstanding scholar during his time at Queen's University, receiving the gold medal for mathematics along with his bachelor degree in 1856. And he was awarded further gold medals for English literature, logic and political economy, along with his masters in 1859. One of Sinclair's lecturers during his time was Reverend James McCosh, a Scottish Free Church minister who was appointed Professor of Logic and Metaphysics at Queen's in 1851. He would go on to become the President of Princeton University in America from 1868 to 88. During his time at Queen's, Thomas Sinclair was one of the co-founders of the Students' Union and throughout his life he remained closely involved in the affairs of the university. His portrait by Henrietta May still hangs in the Naughton Gallery. Eliza and Isabella Riddle were sisters who were best known for Riddle Hall in Stranmillis, Belfast, which they established in 1913 as a university hall of residence for women. The Riddles were Unitarians and hold a Scots border surname. The Riddle sisters donated £35,000 for the building and endowment of a halls of residence, with the understanding it was to be used for the female students of Queen's University. This was an unusually large and generous amount for the education of women and in return Eliza Riddle, the eldest sister, was made a member of the Senate of Queen's University in 1912.